What scientific fact or theory scares you to your bones? Just being alive is the most bizarre thing in the world. Neatly rear fowlery, brain eating amoeba, has a 97% fatality rate and it's immune to most antibiotics. This is why you always use cool, but recently boiled water for nasal rinses. The theory of mutually assured destruction. It's a great theory for helping me sleep at night. But uh, it kinda only works if everyone involved is always rational at all times and never feels they have nothing to lose. Thankfully no human ever acts irrationally, and certainly if they did, we'd never let them keep control of nuclear weapons. That'd be insane. Haha. Ha. Really insane. Like, insane is honestly putting it mildly. There are between 6 to 10 nuclear missiles that are missing. No sovereign nation has a clue where they are, or who has control of them. The fact that we will never ever be able to know everything, like there's a limit to what we can know, and there's so much out there that will we just never discover. Another one that scares me is, that we are all alone on this floating rock. I doubt we are the only intelligent life in this universe, but it's possible, that we are in a sense and that itself scares me so much. We are either alone in this universe, or we are not. The idea that we are alone is more unfathomable than the idea that we aren't. Everyone's busy asking if aliens exist, but what if they don't? What if it is just us? Atoms are 99.99% .99 empty space. The nature of all seemingly solid matter is an illusion. You also never really touch anything. There is always an incredibly small space between you and an object. Even if you push on it, due to electrostatic repulsion between your body's atoms and the atoms of the object, we just feel it, due to electrical charges in our nerves. So, we never touch anything, but we feel it in our brain. There are microorganisms and bacteria crawling around your eyes. Academically, I know that we think they are helpful and fight disease. However, I don't like the notion of stuff crawling around on my eyes. It is possible that the universe exists at a false vacuum level, and at some point, any time or anywhere, vacuum decay could occur, sending a wave of destruction out in every direction. The only solace is that, if it did occur, it would probably spread at no greater than the speed of light. So if it occurred in some other galaxy, humanity would be long gone, before it reached here. Of course, that also means it could have already occurred in multiple places, and at multiple times and the universe is just being destroyed bit by bit. The teleportation theory, that teleporters don't actually move you from place to place, but kills you by breaking you down to molecular level, and create a exact replica of you on the other end who thinks it's you, because it has your memory, and as more, and more people will use it, they will keep getting replaced by a different person each time. And, if there's just one of me, and it's me point what's the problem? My biology professor once told the class, that every few years, every cell or atom or something in your body, is replaced by another. So what makes me point me? Your brain recalls memories when you die, but your brain also recalls memories wrong. So you're basically lying to yourself, right before you die. Your brain lies to you even now. For instance, filling in that blind spot, scotoma, in your vision, so you don't even know it's there, or really any channel, where your senses are being converted to your subjective experience. I love thinking fast and slow for this explains many of the ways that the model our brain has built of the world is terribly flawed. When you get rabies, and didn't get treated until the symptoms show up, you're dead. When you experience single symptom of rabies you're already dead. There's nothing you can do about it. Also rabies symptoms can take long to show up. The incubation period for rabies can last up to years. So if you were bit more scratched by an animal with rabies years ago, the symptoms could show up right now, and you will die. Antimicrobial resistance. What's really crazy is, we owe our modern prosperity, especially in the US, to antibiotics. Each particular antibiotic only works for a short period of time before pathogenic bacteria becomes resistant to it. We've been there numerous different antibiotics since the discovery of penicillin, and pathogenic bacteria have become resistant to almost all of them. We are running out of antibiotics that are still effective. About 4 or 5 years ago, I learned that there were babies born in India who had infections that were resistant to all known types of antibiotics. There's a good chance that in our lifetimes, We'll see people dying from common infections due to the lack of effective medicine to treat them. 
The Kirrington event. In 1859 the sun spewed a huge amount of highly charged plasma that brushed against the Earth's magnetosphere and caused every electronic device on Earth to receive a huge electric shock. At the time, every electronic device on Earth consisted of a few telegraph machines. Some simply ran, even while disconnected from their power supply for a while. Some melted. If an event like this were to happen today, we are overdue for one. It would pretty much destroy every single electronic device, including all of the infrastructure used to generate and distribute electricity. There would be widespread blackouts everywhere, and no way to contact anyone to call for help, or find out what state the rest of the world is in, and no way to fix it other than recreating centuries worth of scientific advancements by hand. The Andromeda Galaxy is on a collision course with the Milky Way Galaxy, and it is moving at us at the rate of 70 miles a second. However, we have 5 billion years to get ready. As scary as that sounds on paper, celestial objects are so far from each other that, even when the galaxies collide it's astronomically slim, that any anything actually collides. I can't find it. But see show space did an episode on the matter. Basically what will happen, is both galaxies merging over millions or billions of years, forming a new larger galaxy. People in large groups become really bad at making decisions, planning, and making accurate judgments. It doesn't matter, if the group is made of genuinely intelligent people. The above is always true, not always. That happens when group conformity pressures are present. Groups can make better decisions planning and accurate judgments when individual group members can contribute more or less equally each member sharing information that is unique to them, collectively generating new ideas and solutions that they would not have arrived at individually, noticing and correcting mistakes that could have harmed sound decision making, and having better collective memory. Many minds hold more relevant information than one, whereas, Grup think is more likely to occur in groups in which the members are feeling strong social identity for instance, when there is a powerful and directive leader who creates a positive group feeling, and in times of stress and crisis, when the group needs to rise to the occasion, and make an important decision. The problem is that groups suffering from groupthink become unwilling to seek out, or discuss discrepant or unsettling information about the topic at hand, and the group members do not express contradictory opinions, because the group members are afraid to express ideas that contradict those of the leader or to bring in outsiders who have other information, the group is prevented from making a fully informed decision. There is a thought that, if there were a big enough landslide on the Canary Islands, which is a real possibility, if it were large enough it'd cause a giant tsunami causing significant damage to the eastern United States. I've seen some of the models, they look quite grim. The Chicxulub asteroid that wiped out the dinosaurs landed in what is now the Gulf of Mexico directly next to the Yucatan Peninsula, as well as instantly vaporizing the nearby water. It created tidal waves that reached as far as where modern Europe and Africa are. The water also made its way hundreds of miles inland on the continental US, possibly as far as South Dakota and Montana. The Dark Forest Theory. It's an explanation as to why we haven't heard back from aliens yet. They are purposely keeping quiet as there is no way to know. If another life form may perceive you as a threat, and decide to kill you off, whoever pulls the trigger first is the winner. Everyone is a hunter. So, why risk reaching out? Absolutely this. Imagine if we finally made contact with aliens, and the first message we got back was something like this. Backquote cease all communications. They will hear you. There could come an all life ending gamma ray burst from anywhere in space, that we can't predict, and we wow and know about it beforehand. It's like Archer's three biggest fears, except with gamma ray bursts instead of alligators and crocodiles. There is no upper limit on psychological pain. A person on fire will eventually pass out from the extensive damage and physical pain, but a person has no upper limit on anxiety, fear, depression, hopelessness, grief, worry, and so forth. What is more, we act as this there is a clear division between physical and psychological pain, but all pain is psychological. We have a nervous system, in part, so we can learn to avoid pain. Here's a theory, nobody can die, this is way out there, but it's fun to think about, so hear me out. In the far future, an alien race becomes so scientifically advanced, that they can gather enough information, to calculate everything, 
that ever happened in any part of the universe. This alien race is also advanced enough to create life at will. Long story short, they are so advanced they can luck back and find Earth and pick a person to recreate. So they make a new body and give it your memories. So when you die, you'll close your eyes for the last time and open them in some new place. And maybe they'll explain to you that it's been one. 000, 000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.000.